Good evening YouTube. Who's your piper? AKA Mark here. Sunday evening. Wrapping up a bowl. My Savinelli. Trevi 320. Some esoterica Dorchester. First pipe of today. After what seven pipes yesterday, I think I needed to take a little break. In the old grape barber, got about another week, maybe two, and we should have these Concord grapes. They're just starting to turn, should be able to harvest those. I was going to do a video out front because it's a little bit windy back here. House would block the, the wind. Traffic is just terrible. And I was watching <clears throat> watching some videos just watched uh, beer beards Sunday night video always enjoy looking forward to the weekend and catching some of Steven's videos I didn't think the glare was too bad Probably the shade is going to be too bad in mine. <laughs> this Dorchester is my favorite tobacco, and I still have a couple sources for it. I've got, I think I've got a pound in my cellar. I want to pick up another bag. Wonderful stuff. This morning we went to one of our lakes in our county. And if you Google Kosciuszko County, our county is named after Thaddeus Kosciuszko from Warsaw, Poland. And the town I live in is Warsaw. You'll see that we've got numerous, numerous lakes in our county. And this morning, one of my daughter's friends was getting baptized in one of those lakes. So we attended a very nice service. Uh, I don't know much about the church at all, but uh, they had a very nice service outside by the lake. is really very nice. The weather was very mild, almost cool, kind of overcast. So it was, it was pleasant, except I was sitting in a <laughs> on a picnic table, which is pretty rough on the old back. But it was good. It was really exciting to see. And I uh, was glad to be able to support her in that choice and walk of life that she, she chose. Came home and we've just relaxed today. It's been very peaceful. Just a beautiful, beautiful, almost autumn-like weekend here in northeast Indiana. And when I wrap up this pipe, I'm going to go inside and 
actually get started on the work week. <laughs> I gotta start typing up reports, and uh, I've got a got a couple that I've got to send over to law enforcement here Monday morning first thing. So I need to get that done. I really, really like this Dorchester. In fact, this is how much I like it. To the first person that contacts me and says they have some Dorchester, I will send you one unopened tin and one tin that only has one bowl out of it out of some amazing tobacco. The unopened tin is, I think Gowith Hogarth makes it Enterdale, and the unopened tin is the quality Sam Gaywith, Gowith, whatever, Grousemore. It would be a wonderful trade. <laughs> the grouse moor is still available to anybody who wants it. I will, I will send it to you. You don't even have to trade it. Uh, trade me anything for it. Um, I just cannot handle that floral type tobacco. Somebody mentioned that. Enterdale would probably be about the same and I was like oh gosh those grapes are just about ready I saw that a couple years ago probably more than that, maybe half a dozen years ago on Facebook, I posted a picture of a grape pie that I made from our Concord grapes. That was really, really good. And uh, I would like to do that again. That would be, I, what got me thinking about it was uh, Northwest Pipe Smoker. Tom had made, a, about a week ago, made a video about some blackberry picking and pies that he made. I don't do much baking because my wife and my two daughters are amazing in the kitchen. They just, my wife is an amazing cook, baker, chef, and my daughters have picked that up and they just do amazing work and I benefit from that quite a bit. Sometime I'm going to have to update on my homegrown cow foolery corn. I've got a, an ear of corn that I cannot get my hand around. I'm, I'm literally, it's this big around. And uh, I know that, you know, you've got the shucks on the corn and the silks, and then you've got the, the actual kernels of corn. But that's got to be a huge cob, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I would love to make like a big pot type cob or something like that.
not really sure if I just need to let that dry on the stalk or if I should uh, pick those off here after a little bit and hang them upside down like in our basement or in, I don't know if you can hear those trucks. We've got these young guys that drive these big old diesel trucks, big smokers, you know, and I don't know how they can afford keeping their foot into the accelerator like they do. But living on our road, you get a lot of traffic. Yeah, so if you get any ideas on how I need to dry these cobs out, let me know. I'm serious about the Enterdale and Grouse Moor. I'll send those to whoever want them. Even if you just want to try them, I mean, I don't expect nothing in return. I'll send them to you and uh, just shoot me your address in an email or something like that. I don't want it to go to waste. That's what I'm afraid of. It is so beautiful outside. <coughs> oh, man, it's nice. Well, everybody, I wish you the best on your work week. Be safe out there. You know, do whatever it takes to get home. And uh, <laughs> I guess, I don't know why I said that. I guess the majority, majority of folks don't have to worry about stuff like that. But it's important. Get home to your family. Love your family. Take care of yourself. Until next time. Who's your piper?